Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Nest. Today I'm gonna do a quick sneaker review from ASIC, the Gaiano 14. And as usual, I'm gonna share with you guys my three different looks I create to go with the show. Let's go. So this is my second pair that I own from ASICS. I already done my first review from the ASICS shoes. I think that was like a proto plush. Uh, that shoes were great. I really love the design. So I explore more into the ASICS brand. Uh, this one is a little bit flashy, you know, it's because of the silver upper. My mom actually asked me like, why? do I get the shoes so flashy? I told her that because I'm a swagger, so that's why I'm wearing flashy shoe. This is the first shoes that I ever own in silver color. This is more like a classic, the 80 performance shoes or the 90 performance shoes. I'm not really into like old school performance footwear that much. If you look at the last couple of years, A6 shoes, actually they do a pretty good job in their design and creativity on their product so that's why i'm just engaging more and more every time a6 release new model from their brand a typical a6 design some people may think it's kind of tricky because the old school classic shoes um they will see their dad or their grandpa wearing these shoes but to me i mean they are back to the trend right now you know uh, this type of running shoes, if you look at it, right? There's a lot of high-end brand right now. They're designing the classic old school style. So that's why they kind of bring them back. Um, this shoes definitely gonna look good with a jogger pants. If you own like a black jogger pants or gray jogger pants, that would look good on this, but I'm planning not to wear jogger pants. I don't know, let's see how I go with those three looks. And before we get into the styling, let's get a closer up into the design of the shoe. This is the close up on the pair of A6 Gaiano 14. So if you look at the upper, there's a mixture between synthetic leather and performance mesh. Um, if you look on synthetic leather, they actually have a grain leather texture on it. On the mesh though, it's the Y honeycomb pattern. Um, have a slight padded on this mesh so you feel comfortable at the same time as feel breathability if you wear these shoes for performance purposes like running or exercise in it i love a touch of the gold metallic in the back I have the name of gel gayano 14 um the shoes is actually asymmetrical you know if you look on the forefoot in a lateral size they have this piece right here on in the forefoot in the middle side doesn't have that piece over there so it's the asymmetrical design. It's pretty cool, but I just feel like you see how the logo just stopped there. It feel like it's unfinished, you know, it doesn't reach their destinations. But this one actually reached their destinations, you know, all, all the way to the midsole. This is more flow than in the lateral side. But the lateral side have this piece, you know, it look nice. But the logo, it just stopped right there. I don't know, it's just kind of weird when you look at it a little bit. Kind of bothering my eyes. And in the back of the mustache, you have uh, the branding, marketing purposes, gel. You know gel is one of the well-known technology come out from ASICS. So that's why they always marketing their gel technology. I think gel technology is pretty good, you know, for performance. Very well padded on the tongue and in the colors. Feel comfort when I wear the shoe. It's, it's uh, give me a little bit of the snug fit and very good internal heel counter molded piece. They have gel technology in the forefoot and in the heel counter. In the middle side doesn't have gel technology. The shoes actually give me some height, four centimeter. I gotta point out all the heights that the shoes give me from now on. Every time I review a sneaker, you know, that's pretty good for a short guy. So I have to point them out. And this 
tooling is very typical ASIC classic old school tooling design if you look closer the texture of the midsole have honeycomb patterns I go pretty good with the honeycomb mesh on the upper and uh, if you go into the outsole very typical old school performance sneaker and this sneaker actually give you some support in the outsole especially in the middle of the shoe they have the t-r-u-s-s-t-i-c technology it support stable movement from reinforcing the middle part of your sole and preventing for the shoes from twisting so if you wear the shoes for like running or performance i often call it at the shank um every single brand they have their own name calling in their own technology you know so shank is just universal i think and i wear the shoe for lifestyle not gonna perform on this just a plus for me to wear the shoe i guess now let's go into the insole the insole is removable insole um, with uh, the screen print in ASIC branding and the name of the shoes a gel Gaiano 14 and comforts why I think the shoes is comfortable if you're looking for like very cushy or cushioning shoes and this shoes is not for you and um, the shoes is actually is a lightweight shoe and uh, the fitting on this shoe is two to size I never have any issues in sizing from A6 so and up next I'm gonna share with you guys how I would like to style them So there you have it. This is my quick sneaker review detail on the Gaiano from A6, Gaiano 14 from A6, because they have a lot of different number. Like they have 14, they have 15, 16. So this is more like a legacy DNA from A6 brand. So I have to be very specific on the number. And I create three different looks to go with the shoe. If you like one of the look in this video, or if you like the way how I style them, comment below in the comment sections. 
and subscribe to my channel for more video. I have lots of video coming up every single week. I can wait to share with you guys. I'm out.